Hi there, welcome to JJB DIY. I'm Sarah, thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm taking part in a very special playlist where we're featuring plaid products. Everyone on this playlist is a plaid ambassador and we're showing you the amazing products that plaid has to offer. So if you're interested in seeing how I created each of these projects today, stay tuned. This first project features this round palette board from Plaid. I'm going to give it a coat of the folk art wood tint in the color gray, and then I'm just gonna wipe off any excess. Both of these products are Plaid products, folk art, and um, obviously the, the wood round comes from Plaid itself. These are from Hobby Lobby, and this little cup is from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna utilize these little pieces as well. I'm going to paint them with my favorite Waverly chalk paint, which is a plaid product, and my second favorite chalk paint, which is the Folk Art Home Decor paint. I utilize both of these paints very often. I went to my Cricut and I cut out these words, cookies and hot cocoa and I'm just gonna attach them to my board. Now I know not everybody has a Cricut, but you can definitely use stickers, hand letter this. Um, you can print something out and Mod Podge it on, also a plaid product. <laughs> and um, you can get beautiful results that way too. I was just short on time to be honest guys, and so I utilized my Cricut because I have it and it makes quick work of projects. So I'm just gonna glue down my little elements here and then I decided it needed a little something on the top. So I'm gonna create a messy bow. And I'll leave in my description box down below all the products that I use and I'll link everything that I can possibly link for you. So if you're interested in purchasing anything that I purchased in today's projects, you can definitely do that. I'm just gonna tie my messy bow uh, together with a little bit of that red and white baker's twine from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna trim up my edges and then I'm gonna place it on my board here. And I'm gonna see where I need to trim some of those longer pieces off. Now you'll see I do purposely put my little bow kind of at an angle and to the side there a little bit. And I decided it needed a little button in the top, like on the front of it. <laughs> So here is a look at how this all turned out. I love this. I think it is so adorable. With the sawtooth hanger on the back, it will hang up perfectly in my kitchen, which if you've been here with me for a while, you know gingerbread is my kitchen theme. For this next project, we're gonna be utilizing the plaid uh, plain ready to paint coasters. These are a four pack and I just gave it a base coat of white Waverly chalk paint. And now I'm gonna go in with some washi tape. This washi tape came from the Dollar Tree. And what I do is I put a piece on, put a spacer in there, put a piece on, put a spacer. And so then I create myself some stripes in the middle. I also went around the edge with some um, masking tape so that I didn't get any red on the edges of my coasters here. Next, I'm gonna just pounce the paint on. This is the Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson, and I'm gonna pounce it on with a makeup sponge. I find that this is the best way to get a good clean edge on anything that I paint. Next, I'm gonna take this Folk Art Extreme Glitter, which is basically Mod Podge with glitter, like the color glitter inside of it. So this is the red, and I'm just gonna paint that right over the top of those red stripes. I let that Waverly chalk paint completely dry before I added the extreme glitter. I did two coats of both. Next I have this Martha Stewart self-adhesive um, stencil set that I picked up at Michael's. And Martha Stewart is also plaid. Um, these came from plaid, so plaid makes these for Martha. And um, yeah, I'm gonna utilize some of these, or one of these little stencils, the gingerbread one, actually. So I'm gonna peel that off of there, and I'm gonna place a couple little gingerbread men right down the center stripe of my coaster here. 
I love these self-adhesive stencils. They make life so easy because you just stick them down and stencil and then you've got great lines. You don't have to worry about holding it down. And when you've got a little tiny stencil like this, it makes it very easy to get really nice projects. And that stencil set has got so many different little stencils for all the holidays. It is a really great little set. So after I get everything stenciled on to all of my coasters, I'm gonna give this two coats of the dishwasher Mod Podge. I use the dishwasher Mod Podge because these are going to be coasters and I wanted them to be able to be wiped off easily and um, be more durable. So I use the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Next, I took some of these beads from the Dollar Tree and painted them white and I'm just going to attach them to the bottom too give them little legs for my coasters. And these are perfect for your little hot cocoa mugs. I found these adorable little gingerbread mugs at Target and aren't they just so cute? I can't wait to have hot cocoa and use my little coasters this season. This video is part of the plaid playlist. Each of these ladies will be featuring plaid products in their videos, so you'll definitely wanna go check them out. Our host today is the lovely Indiani Jones. I will link her channel in my description box below along with the playlist. You'll definitely wanna go check out everyone's channel because there is a gift away. At least two lucky winners will receive plaid products just by watching each of the videos in the playlist. Each creator will feature one plaid product Comment that product in each creator's comment section and you're entered into win. You must live in the United States in order to receive this product. The drawing will be announced on November 26th on everyone's community page. So be on the lookout for that. This project features this fun cutting board from Plaid and these folk art marbling paints. These are so fun. They are completely foolproof. All you have to do is pour them on mix them up and then just turn your project from side to side until you get the marbling effect that you like. I do have to warn you though, this process is very messy. So you might wanna have some gloves on hand and definitely protect your work surface. But this is such a fun and messy project. And this marbling paint is my featured word for the gift away. So make sure that you mention marbling paint in my comment section down below to be entered in to win the gift away. And of course you have to watch everyone else's channel and also make sure you comment their special word as well. But how fun is this? You just keep adding the paint where you want it, keep swirling it around until you get the look you like. Next, I went to my Cricut and I cut out this homemade gingerbread cookie recipe. I thought that this would be so adorable for this little cutting board. So I'm gonna add this right on. Um, I, I don't wanna mention after I the marbling paint dried, so I let it dry for 24 hours and then I put a coat of Mod Podge over the top just to protect it. I was a little worried about the transfer tape pulling up that marbling paint, but with the Mod Podge on top, I had no problems with the paint coming up at all. So I would definitely suggest you do that, if you're, especially if you're gonna be using some vinyl or stickers or something to add to your cutting board. So when I was weeding out my uh, design here, I lost some of my little dots and periods. So I'm just going in with a Sharpie marker and putting those in and you can't even tell the difference. Next, I wanted to add a border around the outside of my cutting board. I originally was going to paint it black, but if we're gonna be honest here, I ran out of time, guys. So I'm just gonna go in with this red and white striped 
ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue it all along the edge just to clean it up. Now this is going to be for me and it's going to hang in my kitchen against a wall. So I'm not worried about the back, but you know, if you are definitely cover it up, paint it, whatever you want to do to make the back look clean. Next, I'm just adding some of this white twine from Walmart around the top. And then I'm going to make a cute little bow with this polka dot ribbon that I got from Michael's. Next, I'll add a hanger with that same white twine. I'm just going to do a lark's knot and then knot the top, trim off the edge, and this project is complete. How adorable is this? I am obsessed with this marbling paint. I think it is so fun and it looks just so different. Like I just love decor pieces that are just different. I love how this turned out. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, hi there, I'm Sarah. I like to do farmhouse and cottage style DIYs on a budget. If that sounds good to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join me here on YouTube. Also, make sure you give me a thumbs up for this video if you are enjoying it today. Wanna to follow me on social media? You can find me on Instagram and my friend Lisa and I have a Facebook group where anyone can join and we'd love to see you over there. For this DIY, I'm going to take these stacking house shadow boxes from Plaid. I'm just going to use the big one today. So it comes in a two pack. Um, and so I painted the outside of my box and the inside of my box with a brown color. This is like a Mod Podge of colors. So if you're looking for a good gingerbread color, the Apple Barrel Nutmeg Brown is a great color for gingerbread. So I traced the outside of my box onto my paper, my scrapbook paper that I wanted to use. And I measured that little edge, the lip. And I am just using my ruler to um, mark where that is. It was an eighth of an inch thick. So I'm just marking that off so that I can cut the exact size that I need to fit inside my box. And I'll just use some scissors to do this. And then just glue the paper down. Now, if you were gonna use um, Mod Podge on the top, then you would definitely wanna put Mod Podge down on the bottom probably. But because I was just leaving this plain, I just used a regular craft glue to glue this in. Next, I found these cute little gingerbread men on Amazon. They're silicone and they're just really cute. They're ornaments. So I just cut off the little ornament part to the top and I'm gonna glue them down. And I'm actually using Fix All here, but I forgot that it does not work for these little gingerbread men. You have to use super glue for them. So glue them all down and then once that's all dry, you can um, use some of this puffy paint. This comes from Walmart and I'm just going to ice my little house here. So I'm just going to go around and just add some of this puffy paint to make it look like icing. And just as a reminder, my secret word for the gift away is marbling paint. So make sure you comment that down below. And hopefully one of my viewers will be one of the lucky winners. I will keep my fingers crossed for you guys. So exciting. Once that was dry, I went to my Cricut again and cut out this Christmas baking squad. I thought that would be really cute with these little gingerbread men, like they're the Christmas baking squad. So I just cut it out with black vinyl and I'm just gonna put that in there. Next, I'm going to add some of this extreme glitter in the holographic color. It's just like a white or holographic glitter basically. And I'm just gonna add that 
all over the outside of my box and to the bottom of the inside of my box. And that will complete this project. How adorable is this? I love it. And it is going to go perfectly in my gingerbread kitchen. As I always say, leave a comment down below. Make sure you let me know which one was your favorite. Make sure that you comment Marbling Paint to get entered in to win the gift away and visit everyone's playlist. I hope you guys have a happy, healthy, and blessing, and I will see you next week. Bye!